Oh, look at those cats. That is, those are some quality cats right there. I think they're just great. <laughs> uh, then they blow stuff up. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. This is Evan Abrams, and uh, we're going to be having a nice short tutorial today about making some uh, typographical elements. So uh, I'll stop enjoying my own stuff for a minute because I'm just riddled with narcissism. And let's get right into After Effects. Um, let's go ahead and open up a new composition. Today we're going to be talking about swinging text. And for those of you who wonder, uh, swinging text is not actually uh, text who, while married, also likes to engage in uh, intercourse with other married couples. Um, just, I mean, I'm sure there is text that does that, but I have little to no interest in telling you how to make that. Um, Let's just make that 10 seconds and let's get to it. Step one, we're making something with text. We need some text so we can go right click here, new text. That's a fun way to make text. Or you can click this button here and then click in here and make some text if you're into that. Um, anytime you're typing text and you don't like it, hit escape and it'll get rid of it. If you do like what you've typed, hit the enter key on the number pad to accept it. Um, or uh, you can click somewhere else down here. That's another great way. Uh, if you don't like clicking this or right clicking or whatever, you want that tool faster, you go Command T. Uh, hitting it twice gives you vertical text. Hitting it once gives you horizontal text. Uh, just like that. So without further ado, we've covered the text tool. Let's make it happen. Let's type some text. Let's use my name because my name is wicked cool. Um, when we're doing this technique, you want to have every word separate. So let's make the first word. It's Evan. That's my name. Uh, what kind of font do I have that's cool? Bebas. Bebas is actually a pretty good text. Um, font. Sorry. So you've got your text. You know, you kind of know what you want it to look like, maybe. Um, we want to have this in a column. And the important thing is that all of these things that we have we take the anchor point and we put the anchor point near the top sorry near the top so we want it as close to that little dot there as we are comfortable so that'll do uh, zoom this back out here okay and let's just go through the character palette here uh, this is your font size uh, this is the space between lines this is the space between letters. Uh, how kooky is that? That gets nuts. Okay, that's good. Um, this is some vertical stretching. This is some horizontal stretching. This is some. If you're if you want some like superscript, you can have that go on. Uh, I don't know what this does. Um, these are cool too. Um, but anyway. So, making text look the way you want it, enjoy, have fun. Um, let's just go ahead and dive into this. Okay, we want uh, my name, because my name is cool. Okay, so we take this, let's duplicate it. You duplicate things by hitting uh, Control D or Command D in my case. Um, so now I've duplicated it, drag it down below. My other name is Charles. That is my actual middle name, in case anybody wondered. I always wonder why people protect their middle name, like they're Rumpelstiltskin and they're trying to stop anyone from knowing their true name. Um, quite frankly, you shouldn't give a whoop -dee if anybody knows your middle name or not. The only people who care are basically whoever takes the census and uh, stops you from voting. Um, my last name is Abrams, A-B-R-A-M-S. Uh, I'm very thankful that uh, both my middle and last name are about the same length, which makes this process a little bit easier. Take everything, just kind of double check that everything's in the center. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Uh, let's see, how are we looking for size here? Kind of don't like that it's a bit big. Let's just scale everybody down a little bit. Probably could have planned this better, really. People tell me planning is probably my weak 
weakest uh, weakest area okay so that'll do uh, let's drag these things a little bit into the middle her okay so we've got this going on Evan Charles Abrams that'll do for now uh, let's just maybe style these a little let's try to make this thing look a little bit better before we move on uh, I'm actually gonna speed up the making things look nice maybe I'll make a tutorial about making things look nice later uh, so once everything looks kinda the way you want it take these um, make them 3d uh, this icon here 3d layer allows this layer to be manipulated in three dimensions um, Actually, you might have not known this, but you're already manipulating them in three directions if you count the third dimension as time. Uh, I don't. I call it the fourth dimension, and this is something I say at parties when I'm really out of facts to enlighten people with. So, uh, making it 3D allows you to rotate. When you select uh, the layer, hit R, and you bring up the orientation X, Y, and Z. Orientation is different than these other ones. If we use orientation to move things, After Effects will use the shortest distance between your keyframes. Um, and if you use the X, Y, and Z, it'll you'll force it to go the long way if you want. So what we want to use is our X rotation. Um, what I like to do is crank it up to 180 to start. Um, go ahead about 10 frames call that zero so when you look at the motion you might think Evan I can swing text easily because this looks good all right boom stupid but uh, it's a little bit unnatural and I wouldn't be uh, worth my salt as they say if uh, we didn't fix this up so instead we do what's called overshooting and we're going to overshoot Whoa. and uh, let's go ahead and select these and easy ease them right off the get go so we're going to overshoot on the front and then we're going to come back so we're coming forward too much backward too much whoa and let's, don't worry about the timing too much right now, because uh, we're going to touch that up. So, we're coming forward too much, we're coming backward too much, just doing everything too much. Okay, forward, backwards, and we want to go forwards again, and we want to go backwards again. forwards again, forward, back, forward, backwards. Before finally coming to a rest. Whoop, 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 whoop. See, that's kind of like one of them old-time western doors. Whoop, 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 whoop. So now what we want to do is basically we want to kind of tighten this up in spots and, uh, kind of make it come together a little bit faster for us because as it's woo, 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 woo. kind of like that if you feel there are too many of these just like knock out first two boom doesn't look as good though more of this you got going on cooler it looks I guarantee you But you know, I could I could be wrong. I've been I was wrong about something once before. Never again. Basically, what you're trying to do is convey a sense of weight to this thing to show that it is a big, heavy letter. Um, woo, woo, woo. Sounds all right. The other thing you want to do is have it fade in right around 90. So you can see digitally here you're at a buck 10. And here you're at 75. So let's set the opacity here to zero. Just go ahead, one, two, and uh, 
it's good enough. So what does that look like? Yeah, it's all right. Let's try that. So it's kind of like it just kind of like ooh magically comes on like whoa where have you been all this time? I don't know. Uh, okay, so it comes on like so. Now we're gonna just take this. We're gonna go copy. Sorry, let's uh, easy ease these. So select these frames. Control C, copy them. Put your playhead. This is red line. Current time indicator. Put that at the start for these. Control V. So we've taken the frames. Now everybody has the same frames. Everybody just be happy with each other. So now you could do something like uh, sequence it out a little bit. Uh, select all your all your uh, layers here, and hit U. And uh, hitting U brings up all of the altered keyframes. So let's just go ahead and position this so uh, something like this. Is this appealing? Do do do. So right now they all look like independent swinging things, but. What if we had them all connected? Wouldn't that look cooler? So let's connect Abrams to Charles and Charles to Evan. And therefore, we will have something that looks like this. Do, 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 do. Pretty cool, eh? I hope I didn't spell any of my names wrong. Anyway, um, that's how that goes. So we've got kind of that swinging action. And really, I mean, when you play with this kind of thing, see it's kind of like it comes back, and then this comes up on the next swing, and then this comes out on the next swing. So you've got that going on. Um, so that's pretty fun. And having things connected together means that one is always moving with the other, is always moving with the other. So you can get a nice a nice chain of these, and I mean I'll cover that in like a character animation tutorial as well. But uh, there you go. That's pretty much it for uh, having your text come on. Um, uh, you may want to make things look cooler, I guess. That, that could be fun sometimes. You can get more complicated or whatever, but uh, that's about it. I mean, you want to convey the sense of weight and motion with this overshooting. And I cannot stress enough what what the overshooting principle does for, uh, for making your motion graphics look more believable and just really have that pop and that naturalness to them. So uh, you go ahead, experiment try some stuff out you know if it doesn't work whatever just don't blame me um, it's not like I told you to do anything um, impress your friends um, this is good for like intros or motion typography or whatever you got going on um, and uh, yeah hopefully you have fun uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or anything you want to say um, I really appreciate all the feedback on the tutorials. Uh, helps me to make them a bit better. Uh, I'm going to try to annotate with as many keyboard commands as possible. Uh, I'm Evan Abrams. Uh, this has been uh, me wasting some of your day, and uh, hopefully you had fun.